Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be talking about defining functions in MATLAB. And um, this is one of the more important topics, so I'll be going into a lot of detail as to how this actually works in MATLAB. But if you have any questions or if you're not sure about something, just drop me a comment by the end of the video and then I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if these videos are helping you, just drop me a like. It's really going to help out my channel and then put this video out there for other people to see. Okay. All right, so let's begin. Um, functions are super handy and they help us pretty much take a lot of other models and make it simple. Whereas we can just plug in different results, you know, different numbers, results into the into the function and we can get our answer. OK, so uh, pretty much every function is made up of two components. OK, so you're going to have your input component and then you're going to have your output component. OK. So your input is whatever goes inside of your function. Your function is pretty much a set of instructions. Okay, think of it this way. And then whatever this function is instructed to do, it's gonna do its thing. And what you get out of this, that's gonna be your output. Okay, so something goes in, then then you know whatever in, whatever is instructed to that function is gonna happen to whatever goes in. And then once all that is done, then what you get is gonna be your output. Okay. And mathematically speaking, we typically write functions as like, you know, f of x, g of x, and so on. So I can say f of x equals 5x. And then I'm going to ask you to calculate what's f of, for example, 6. Okay. So what I'm asking here is I'm, I'm telling you to take this 6, which is your input variable, and then replace this 6 with x. Okay. So this is pretty much going to be five times six, and then that's going to give you 30 for, for your output. Okay. So 30 is going to be your output and then six was your input. Okay. So how do we write this in mail app? Okay. So I'm going to go to my command window and I'm going to say F equals inline. Okay. Inline operator is pretty much what defines your function, you know? So I'm going to say inline open parentheses. And then I'm going to type in my function, so single quotation marks, and then five times x, close single quotation marks, comma, open single quotation marks, and then I'm going to define what x is, okay? MATLAB is not going to know what x is. In this case, x is a variable. So type in your x, close parentheses, and then there you go. You've got your f of x equals 5x function, okay? And then, for example, we did f of 6, so I can do f of 6, and I should be getting 30. There you go. So I can do, you know, I can do f of 900, and then MATLAB is instantly going to give you the answer. Okay, so that's pretty useful. Um, the other question you may have is, can we have multiple variables for a function? And the answer is yes. So if I can give you another example. So let's say we have a rectangle here. So I've got a rectangle here. Here's my length, here's my width. And then I'm gonna say, so the area of a rectangle is pretty much gonna be, so area is gonna be length times width, okay? And then I, let's say I have a theoretical rectangle and then I'm trying to figure out different areas for it, okay? So I can go back to my MATLAB and then I can say area equals inline, okay? That's what defines your function, open parentheses single quotation mark and then we can do l times w and then close your um, quotation and then now you're going to define each variable individually so i'm going to define l and then i'm also going to define w okay and there you go i just made up my area function and then i can do area let's say my length is i don't know 20 and then the width is going to be the width is going to be uh, let's go with five okay so this is pretty much going to take 20 multiplied by five and then you get 100 okay if you want to do you could do area and then let's say you know your length is like 50 and then your width is going to be 12 okay so pretty much the same thing and let me i'm going to show you guys another um, real life application of you know using functions so your your net worth um so your net worth this is like a financial example so your net worth is pretty much going to be all of your assets 
subtracted from your liabilities. Okay. So now I'm going to define two separate functions for the assets and the liabilities, and I'm just going to make these up. Um, these are not going to be real. So you I mean the ending result may not make sense, but you know I'm just going to show you how you can use this. So for your assets, I'm going to say the function to define your assets is going to be equal to um, let's go with uh, let's say 4x plus 6 okay and then the function to define your liabilities oops different color I want to go with so for your liabilities I'm gonna say the function for that is pretty much gonna be the opposite of what you have so that's gonna be 4x minus 6 okay and then your net worth is going to be assets subtracted from liabilities okay so let me clear my command window here in MATLAB and then let me get rid of my already existing variables here okay all right so we're going to do assets are equal to inline open parentheses single quotation and then it was 4x so 4 times x plus 6 and then close quotation comma and then define x to be your variable and there is the function for your assets and then for liabilities liabilities I'm going to have equal sign inline open parentheses and I'm gonna have 4 times x minus 6 okay and then again define your variable here so you're kind of separating it from your x on the top and then if you close your parentheses you're going to have um, the function so it's going to be liabilities x 4x minus 6 okay so you've got 4x plus 6 which is what we had here and then 4x minus 6 was the function for your liabilities okay cool so we're going to do now we're going to do um, your net worth which is assets minus liabilities so let's say your assets are um, ten thousand um, dollars and then your liabilities are going to be liabilities are going to be let's say five hundred dollars in this case and then now if you press enter MATLAB gave you a number thirty eight thousand you know twelve dollars which doesn't really make sense but you kind of get the point here okay so we're essentially subtracting two separate functions from each other okay we just define two separate functions and then we you know subtracted them from each other to get your net worth okay and you can use this for all the other you know kinds of applications out there you know that was just like my example here all right so if this video helped you that's pretty much going to cut it off here um i can't really think of anything else you know we went over functions you know two variable functions and then i gave you guys two examples okay all right so please drop me a like if this video helped you and then i'll see you guys in the next one thanks